I was an undergrad at Hopkins. I studied international studies and I strongly prefer working to being in school and I'm better at working than I am at school. So I was very happy to graduate. I did not think about grad school really at all for a couple of years. And then as I mentioned, being in Malaysia kind of reoriented towards developing humanitarian work and just found that every job description said you had to have a master's, even to be an assistant, even to be an administrative assistant. And so I, after Malaysia, I did feel ready to go to school and I felt confident in going that direction. And then I was kind of forced to do it if I ever wanted to get a job. Um, so I, you know, research programs, I applied to five schools. Um, I really wanted to go to Hopkins again for a couple reasons. Um, one being that they have a campus in Bologna in Italy. And I'd studied in Italy as an undergrad for a semester. And with SAIS, the School of International Studies, you can choose to spend your first year in Bologna. And it's the same school, same curriculum, same requirements. Um, you just get to live in Italy. So it's like kind of a no-brainer for people that enjoy being abroad. So that was a big draw. I also was really um, excited by and impressed by their international development program. It's pretty rigorous and well respected. And, and since I knew that's what I wanted to do, I, I wanted to, I knew I wanted to focus that, on that. So I was looking at the, that kind of subset of the schools I was interested in. And then Hopkins also, SICE also has an economics requirement for, develop, for their international studies degree. And that's pretty unique among kind of that, uh, those programs, that group of schools. And I knew it would be beneficial. And I also knew that if I was left to my own devices, if it wasn't a requirement, I wouldn't have taken classes because I don't like econ, but I knew that it would be full for me to do. So those were kind of the main reasons I was interested in SAIS. Um, my application was very uh, Malaysia heavy. My essay was pretty much all about uh, you know, working with young women in Malaysia and how I really enjoyed that sort of programming. And it built on what I had done in a previous job, which was focused on U.S. and education in the U.S. Um, so just kind of wove together those interests and talked about what I wanted to do moving forward. Um, so it all worked out, got into SICE. I went, spent my time in Bologna. So that was 2017 to 2018. It was really wonderful. I hope some of you have had a chance to visit Bologna. It's a magical place um, and a really nice place to spend a year of grad school, um, especially in contrast to DC. It was almost like going to two different schools. Um, so yeah, I studied French, my econ requirements, took a few kind of elective classes. And then most students, as I'm sure you can guess, uh, intern or work in the summer between the two years. And that was kind of a big reason that I actually wanted to be at a YES program, have the chance to have summer to intern or work versus a one-year program abroad. So I really wanted to go back to Southeast Asia. And through my international development major, um, interned with UN Women with the regional office in Bangkok, the regional office for Asia. Um, and I, I wanted to do something gender focused. And so it was just a really great fit. I was super excited to, to have that opportunity. Um, really excited to be back in the region and kind of get a sense of what it would be like on the other end of the Fulbright, like living in a major city, working at a, you know, the UN compound, kind of living a more normal expat life versus, um, you know, the live in ETA. 